Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 22 through 26. And the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, Witnesses. This message was preached on March the 3rd, 1954. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him, and were sore afraid. And the man of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up, and it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the man that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Every man today knows that he can take the name of Jesus Christ and meet any poet, any place, any time, and be, be defeated. I've met witch doctors, I've met demons of all sorts, and never seen a time but what they had bowed to the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, friends, when the church lost the name and the power of the name of Jesus Christ, they lost it. When they went down, when Moses went down to Egypt, if they could ever got that stick out of his hand, they had him whipped. But in that stick was where the power lay. If they ever got the stick out of his hand, they had him whipped. Remember, it was a stick that smoked the rock. It was a stick that they held to the air. It was a stick that held over the waters. It was God's judgment rod. And what, what the stick was in Moses' hand, the name of Jesus Christ is to the born-again church. Amen. Get it away from there and it's gone. Yes, sir. Oh, that name, take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. When temptations around you, breathe that holy name in prayer. Watch demons scatter. Yes, sir. The name of Jesus Christ. David said, you meet me as a Philistine with an armor spear, but I meet you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Watch. He had five stones. He had five fingers to sling wrap in. J-E-S-U-S-F-A-I-T-H, faith in Jesus. Here he comes. Something has to happen. I'll tell you, when he turned that stone loose, the Spirit of God caught him to that stone and slew Goliath, cut his head off, and all the others weakened down, and the armies of Israel took courage, and they cut Philistines plumb to the walls. That's what it needs tonight. Somebody who's got an experience to stand up and to prove the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the rest of them will take courage, and here they'll come. Some of you on Cox wheelchairs, try it once and watch the group follow you. Take courage. Go on. We trust that you have been blessed by God's word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals, and other spiritual message-related content that we produce. We invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds Podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.